Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guest host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And today, we're actually going to be talking about a dinosaur from Arizona. Today, we're going to be talking about the Sonorosaurus. Now, we are diving into my love because if you are a longtime listener of the show, of the facts episodes, of the news, you hear jingling, that is my cat, Pedro. Hello, Pepe. Then you are, uh, <laughs> throwing off there saying, you are a known, avid listener. And if you are that or slash watcher, then you know I absolutely enjoy sauropods. And sauropods, there's something about them that are just such beautiful, majestic creatures. And the Sonorosaurus is one of those sauropods. It was named after the, after the Sonoran Desert, where it was found, and is actually the Arizona state dinosaur. A state fossil, though, is petrified wood, and no one really knows about Sonorosaurus too much. Relatively new, though, in the paleontology field, found in 1994 by Richard Thompson in southern Arizona, but it wasn't named until 98. Of course, so like I said, it was a sauropodomorph, but specifically in the Brachiosauridae family, cousin of Brachiosaurus. Pretty good length, though, for this kiddo. You were looking at an estimated 49 feet in length and around 26 feet tall. And weighing in in the corner on 11 short tons. So while compared to other sauropods, you know, maybe on the okay average side, it was actually one-third the size of Brachiosaurus. Still, though, you get a herd of these majestically going across the Sonoran Desert. Well, it wasn't a desert at the time. But just majestically going across a field, the jungles, of grasslands, whatever it might be, it would look absolutely stunningly beautiful. And like I said, it was the it is it is the Arizona State dinosaur, but it wasn't that until 2018, so relatively actually pretty recent. Now, it is the funny nature, and I will talk about this later on, with going over the fact being of Arizona dinosaurs that we find bits and pieces of. In 1995, however, and the reason why it did take a little bit of time to be named. It was actually thought to be a hadrosaur, but that wasn't until later research that dismissed that theory. Now, a little funny fact is it was almost named Chihuahuasaurus. I mean, you can kind of guess why. Arizona, loads of Chihuahuas everywhere, that sort of thing. But they wanted to not go that route at the time due to the dog connection. If you guys did enjoy this little episode of Dino Times going over a little known sauropod, then be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more paleo content, video games, and much, much more here on the channel. And my social media and Twitch are in the description box down below. But remember, folks, science is real.